Hi, and today we're gonna to talk about different machines, stroke length and power, and what that means for your work. It's not enough to know what you're using, it's more important to know why you're using it. So let's jump straight in. Here we have the original Fleiss machine. This has a 3.5 millimeter stroke length. What that means is each time the needle travels in and out, it travels 3.5 millimeters. The further the needle travels each time, the harder it hits the skin. So you may hear it referred to as hit. This is the Allure Ambi and it has a 2.8 stroke length. So this is more of a medium stroke length machine. This will have a medium hit. And then finally onto the Fleiss Slim Pen. And this has a 2.5 millimeter stroke length. So this is the softest hit of these three machines. But what does that mean for your work? So we're gonna look at how different stroke machines behave. So we're gonna start off with the classic Fleiss Pen. So this is quite a big stroke length. So what we get with this when it makes contact with the skin, with the latex, it's hitting quite hard. So it's gonna, you're gonna find it really easy to implant pigment with this. So this feels like a no brainer. Also, you're gonna get really pixelated work and you're going to be finished quicker because it's hitting harder into the skin. So that's a benefit. So if someone's skin is hard to implant into, you might wanna change the stroke length of your machine so that you can just get in, get out. You're gonna see visible pixels. And it's gonna make work really easy for you. So when we wipe that, it's really easy to see that that is implanted quickly. The disadvantage of this is with a harder hit if you're heavy handed, or if you've got someone with fragile skin, then you're gonna to implant too deeply. You're gonna cause trauma. So in the wrong hands, a large stroke length can be more traumatic. You can go too deep, you can get poor results. So once again, there's no magic bullet. There's no one answer is the right answer. It's just understanding why we would use this. So we would wanna use this machine if we wanna get quick results, if we wanna get in, get out, finished, so say if someone was in pain or you're struggling to implant, then a high stroke machine is gonna be your best friend. Look at that, that's just implanted so, so quickly into that latex. So I'm gonna go for a middle stroke length now. This tutorial is brought to you by VIPMU, my very own mentorship program. Videos like this on YouTube are fantastic. However, they lack feedback. And seeing as I'm the skills coach at VIPMU, I'm the one that's gonna be looking at your work and telling you how you can improve quickly. For more information, click the link below. This is going to be 2.8. This is the Allure Ambi. 2.8 is still reasonably large. It's not a short stroke machine. So when would I wanna use this? This is a good all-rounder. It's a good all-round machine. So if you're using a high stroke machine, it may be too traumatic for say something like eyeliner, you're much more likely to blow out. You can tear the skin up. So let's go and have a look at this then. That's still implanting quite quickly. It's still quite a decent length machine. 2.8 is still quite, it's quite large. It's not too, it's not too small. So I'd say that this would be a good investment for a good all-rounder. So we can see that that has implanted into the latex. It's not as strong as the 3.5 though. This is bolder. This is much bolder up here. Disadvantages of this is that you may want something higher to get finished quicker, or you may want something softer for say, if you're using, doing things like Nano because nano we need to be really really careful so there are advantages and disadvantages but because this is a medium one a medium stroke machine this is a good investment for someone who can just have a one size if you're looking for that one size fits all this is not one size fits all but this is suitable for all treatments but you still need to be careful on things like nano and on eyeliner with something um with a stroke length of 2.8 so we're now going to go and have a look at the smallest stroke machine I've got here, which is the uh, the slim. 
Fleiss Penciling. Now I can feel, I mean there's such low vibration, but I can feel, you can probably hear as well, that that's, it's less powerful. So when I'm looking at the needle, I can see it's just not hitting hard. So let's go and um, have a look at this. You can feel it that it's softer on the latex. Benefits of this is your work is going to look velvety soft. Because the pixels aren't hitting so hard, you aren't going to get that real round, um, well, you're going to get a round circle, but they're going to be less defined. So your work is going to look softer and more velvety. So you can see that that is implanting less. You can see these again, it's darker, less dark, and um, this one's implanting less quickly. It's le implanting less quickly because it's hitting less hard. The speed has been the same for all of them. They're all at 4.8. So the speed is, is not necessarily anything to do with the hit. The speed is just how fast it's going. So they're all going at the same speed. So the advantages of this is if you're heavy handed, you're much less likely to blow out. If you're light handed, it could take you forever. This is gonna be really good for your photographs. So finished results. If you wanna get Insta pretty pictures, um, a short stroke machine like this is going to look amazing. It's also going to be, let's, let's talk about lips. If you do this on a client's lips, it's going to be so much less painful for them because it's going to be hitting, hard, uh, hitting less hard. So this is less trauma for the skin. So that could lead to easier healing. So the benefits of a short stroke machine, easier healing, um, better client, client comfort, really good for people with fragile skin. So maybe your older clients, it's also good for certain techniques such as nano, because with nano, you really, really have to be careful that you're not going too deep, you're not implanting too deeply. So, I mean, that's still there, but I can see the difference. It's much more dusty. It's a dustier look. So if we were doing nano with something like this little slim pen, it's gonna be easier to control the hair strokes. You're gonna know that you're not going as deep. Whereas if you were doing it with something like a 3.5, you need to be super skilled. You absolutely need to be super skilled to do that. So it does actually deliver on a nano, um, a nano stroke, but you've got that confidence that it's not gonna go too deeply. So say if you were using this in conjunction with an organic pigment, you need to know that you're not gonna implant it too deeply, otherwise you're gonna get gray migrated results. So something like a shorter stroke machine is gonna give you that insurance policy that you can implant well, but that they're not gonna blow out, they're not gonna migrate. So this is a great nano machine. All of them have advantages and disadvantages. There is no one best machine. I'm always trying to hammer this home, there's no one best pigment, there's no one best uh, machine, there's no one best needle. You need to understand them all and that opens up all the doors for you to be super, super creative. So if you decide, well, I'm gonna use a high uh, concentrated organic pigment for my Nano, then I'd be looking at using a short stroke machine. Unless you are super, super experienced and very, very light-handed. But you know, why take that risk? So these are all machines that you can use and, and get good at a master. So I actually advise having a selection of machines for different techniques. That way, whatever comes up, whatever kind of client comes in, whatever their skin issues, and whatever technique you're doing, you're gonna get better at it quicker. Now we've dealt with how machines work, you need to understand needles properly. And that's why I made this video here. Go check it out.